सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन माय नेम इज़ अरसलान एंड टुडे वी आर ऑन डे ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ सॉल्विंग द पाइथन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग सिस्टम क्वेश्चंस सो वी स्टार्टेड अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस मींस अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस दैट इज़ मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस टूडे सो इफ़ यू आर वेरी न्यू टू दिस प्ले लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वॉट दिस प्ले इज ऑल अबाउट सो इन दिस प्ले वी हैव बीन सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएटेड प्रोग्रामिंग सिस्टम With the help of Python, we are solving these questions. So we started from a very basic question on day one, and I have introduced you a very basic idea of what is pre, uh, what is object-oriented program on day one. Then we have move on to day two, day three, day four, and then move on to day five, day six, day seven, day eight, and ultimately we came on to day twenty-fifth, where we are discussing a multiple inheritance. So. slowly and gradually we have been increasing the difficulty level increasing the bar of the object oriented programming logics so the this playlist is meant for those who are struggling to code in object oriented programming system so let's start this tutorial we where we will be discussing multiple inheritance uh we started discuss we started a discussion on inheritance from day 17th where we discussed single inheritance we also did couple of questions in fact uh, many type of questions uh, 7 to 8th co- eight question we did on single inheritance similarly we will be also doing question on multiple inheritance and first of all we have to understand the uh, understand the concept and revise our concept on multiple inheritance and after we did these type of question on multiple inheritance single inheritance and different types of inheritance including multi level uh, then we have hybrid then we have hierarchical then these types of inheritance when we did the, do the, these types of questions we get gain the logic we understand the idea behind these and then we can implement them in our projects so guys after we build the logic understand these things then we can just uh, of course do the uh, implementation now let's understand this that what is multiple inheritance our topic today is multiple inheritance all right so what is multiple inheritance first we have to understand what is multiple inheritance we already discussed about single inheritance and uh, what is the difference between multiple inheritance and single inheritance so guys in multiple inheritance a class can inherit from multiple parent class what does this mean it means that uh, in uh, it, it means that a single child class can inherit from multiple parent class previously we were doing it in a single uh, inheritance where we were having only one parent class right it we were having a one parent class let me show it to you that this was a person was a child class and this was a student was a uh, sorry person was a parent class and a student was a child class right so this is one child and one parent but in multiple inheritance what we will be doing we will be creating uh two uh, two types of uh, sorry two parent class and we will be having only one child class so in uh, the uh, child class will be inheriting from both the parent class this is called a multiple inheritance all right so example like a class uh, a student class inheriting from both a person class and a scholar class so let's say we have two uh, person class uh, let's say we have two parent class as a person and a scholar so the student will be also learning f- uh, inheriting from person and also inheriting from a scholar let's say we have class as scholar pass and class person pass so if i say that class uh student now scholar and person pass 
why I'm writing path because I'm not just writing any logic here I'm just telling you the uh, syntax the idea what what it would be so we have created a class as a scholar we have created a class as person so these two are parent class these are parent class class parent class one let's say or this is parent class two and this will be our child class now this child class will be inheriting from both of these parent class so this will be our child class inheriting in inheriting from both the uh, parent class that is of course scholar and person s c h o l a r now we have gained the basic idea of what it would be now you have understood the difference between the single inheritance and uh, multiple inheritance now let's do a question and then you can just gain more confidence and more idea about how this th the, the things will go on now let's say uh, our question here is to create a, a two parent class uh, this question start from here so let me just uh, put it like this and the question start from here uh, that create two parent class a and b with a method called display that prints a message specific to each class let's do this so let's say uh, our class a and def display now inside this we will be taking self and we will be just printing out what printing this is a now similarly we have to create it for b as well so uh, b and i will be taking multiple multi cursor control p and b uh, shift b now uh, you can see that we have got two parent class so this is parent class one class a is parent class one and class b is parent class two so just let's put it with the command so that you can just have a basic understanding and in the initial stage you will be having a very basic idea when we are solving the question uh, then uh, we have to create a class and another class and which class we have to create create a class called c that inherits from both a and b implement a method called show in the c class that calls the display method or both pair of both parent classes create an instance of the c class and call the show method so let's create a c class and we have to just uh, since uh, since c is a child class so child class this is a child class and since it's a child class we have to close it by parenthesis and inside those parentheses we have to give the name of the child class so the name of the child class is a but there are two child so, so sorry the name of the parent class is a and there is one more parent class that is b so we have to give the name of two parent class first is inc uh, a and then b and there can be also uh, multiple uh, parent class there can only be there that, that this is there is a no rule that there can be only two parent class you can create n number of parent classes but here are only two so we are creating only two now we have to create a method that is to def show now in this show method we have to show means display these so let's say uh, what we have to do create a class that display method of both parent class so we have to create a class sorry create a method where we have to display both of these method so i will be saying that uh, display sorry self dot display so now uh, you might be thinking that that this is also a display and this is also a display right means in class a 
there is a function called display and class b there is a function called display as well right what i mean here is that both of the name are the same the method of the uh, the name the method method of the name in class a and the method of the uh, name in class b both are having the same name right uh, so what will be the answer what will be the value that would be printed so if i create an instance here if i create an object here let's say uh, c is equals to uh, c now you have to close it by parenthesis and instead i will be just writing it in a small letter c and now if i say that c dot show and run this you will be seeing that i am getting get getting this is a why it is coming to be a because uh, we have written in the child class first as of a so we have given first parameter as a and then we have given second as b so you might be thinking that if i write it uh, like this if i write it uh, two times self dot display then we can get b no it's not the case when again we will be getting uh, this is a so why it's coming like this to be because we have written a as our first argument and we are returning the same thing so it will be only taking uh, taking a as a first argument so if i remove it like this and re uh, just replace their position now you will be seeing the difference you will be seeing the difference as this is b this is b so it means that the first one gives the uh, the first argument the first parameter in the parenthesis when you put inside the child class parenthesis the first one gives the first priority means this is given the more preference so the first parameter let me write it down here the first parameter in the child class in multiple inheritance will be given more preference all right now b will be coming up first so this is uh, just creating a uh, what you can say confusion it's creating a confusion that we are not getting a value we want the value of b as well right so but there are only the the a is also having a display and b is also having a display so what we can do here is instead of writing as display as the same thing here we can just write it like display a and display b and i will just write it uh, the one the thing which we were have written it initially a and b uh, now instead of display we have to replace it by display a display a and here we have to return it uh, change it to display b now if i run this you will see that i am getting this is a and this is b now we have understand that the first one is given first preference and second one has given the second preference similarly the third one will be given the third preference so, all right so uh so the idea here is to understand the basic concept of multiple inheritance so multiple inheritance uh, allow us to take the functionality from multiple parents in a single child let's say this is a single child here so this single child is c so c c has two parent so two parents parent a and parent b so it will take the functionality as we have seen that it is it has been taking two function it has been taking the functions from uh, from a as well and from b as well as you can see we have printed it and you have understand it that we get the values accordingly so this is all multiple inheritance where we just take the uh, values from the multiple parent in a single child so if there is another 
parent it will take another parent and uh, it can take many types many uh, you can say n number of parent so i hope that you have understood this concept of multiple inheritance in the upcoming tutorials while we discuss it in a more detail more uh, you will be getting the confidence and you will be understanding in a better way and you will gain a more logic of the multiple inheritance so this is the, just a basic idea just a basic question where we have just understand understood the basic idea of what is multiple inheritance now while we do more and more question in the upcoming tutorials of course we will understand and of course we will gain more logic in multiple inheritance so i hope that you have understood what is multiple inheritance now let's move further in this tutorial in this series so this was all for uh, today in the day 25th thank you guys for watching this today and see you next time